Buddy's going to be filling in as our centerpiece today. He is surrounded by eyeballs and carrot fingers, little brains made out of cauliflower. Okay, and you can see that we have various different kinds of skin. We have roast beef. The thinner pieces are easier to adhere to the skull. And then if you want to just cut strips of the ham, you can do that, and that gives the skull a little bit of a bandaged look. Julia, why don't I have you start putting the meats on that. Uh -huh. What we're going to do now is make some eyeballs. So we're going to just make an eyeball, which is just cutting our egg in half. You can't just put the egg in the egg socket like this. You need your skin, okay? So we're going to take our thin ham and we're going to press it around. But we're just going to tuck this guy. And you know, it looks more authentic if it's all raggedy like that. Don't be afraid to just use your hands and press the skin onto the skull. Okay, we're moving on to the eye patch. We've got our fruit roll-ups here. And these are actually the fruit roll-ups that are two two-toned. And what you'll find is that they peel off into orange and red. And we're just going to set that down above the eye and move it around. I have some uh, jelly candies. You can buy these in bulk at any grocery store. And I also have some parchment paper. Yeah, I'm going to take my little half moon. I'm going to stick it here in between the paper. And then I'm going to roll it with my rolling pin. And then I take my shears and we're just going to cut our little uh, gummy jelly into a patch. And we're just going to set that guy right over the top. Oh, like that's, so. That's so cool. <laughs> now, one more thing we need to do. We need um, an eyeball over here. And we're just going to cut the, it's a green olive, and we're going to stick it right there for the eyeball. Would we'll just stick it on there, Julia, with a toothpick. And I usually put the toothpick in between the red and the green, and then you don't see it. We're ready to put on the finishing touches. And Julia, I see you brought out the worms. I did. And would you just pull off a piece for us, please? One strand will do. And we're just going to put this little piece hanging out of his nose. So it looks like he has a nose with a worm coming out of it. And then we're going to give him some kind of some teeth that stick out a little bit. These are uh, slivered almonds and they've got a little brown rim around them, which is perfect for rotten teeth. Now, I have um, some blood red from Pillsbury, and we're just going to make some bloodshot eyes because this guy has been up a long time. 